So howdy there. Look, you know, it's uh, getting close to dinner time and um, we like to eat something good, feel satisfied with the food, the goodness of good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make ourselves a burger. Comes first really is the, the patty. Meat if you wish, and that's what I'll be making my patty from. Chickpeas, some lentils or mung beans or, or whatever. So um, let me take you into the indoors and we will hook ourselves up with a mighty funky I'm just gonna pull it out of my head and just make it from make. So we're gonna we got ourselves an onion, we're gonna chop that onion up and we're gonna hope we don't shed no tears with the onion because uh, the onion can be a little bit uh, teary. Then we're just gonna chop that onion up into quarters. I'm gonna chuck it in the foodie. We've got some bread here, got some good bread. I'm gonna just gonna tear that in half and just chuck that in the foodie. And then um, I like to add a little bit of mixed herbs because we don't want to just keep it fresh. Put a baby spoonful of uh, mixed herb. Check it out. Now we've got some meat here. This is uh, good uh, lamb mince. But you know, you can make this vegan. You can make it whatever you want to make it. It's good to add some sauces to your... Uh, to your mix, sweet chili, not too much, just a, just enough to make it just tasty. The grape, it's a wild meat sauce, so it's really good. A little waddies and uh, a little bit of salt. Salt is the enhancer. I'm not a great salt person, but <coughs> the food processor. We're just going to whip up some of those um, extra additives. And we're done. Into the mix. Gonna add uh, some some egg to the to the mix. These are free range eggs. So like we say, we get ourselves an egg. We, we, we put it up in, the, in there. We put it in there. Just to uh, bind all the uh, goodness of the ingredients together. You could use your hands if you so desire, but I quite like getting in there with a wooden spoon. And just giving it a bit of a, a chomp up. So here we're looking now. We've we've kind of mixed that um, goodness up. What comes next is heading out to the grill and cooking up that barbecue goodness. We've got our meat and then we've got our hot plate. Well, it's not hot at the moment, but we're going to put a little bit of oil on the hot plate because that's always a good thing to do. I grab myself this like little wee aluminium ring, and I'll grab myself a spoonful of the mixture I will throw it in there and I might hump it up a wee bit and then I'll lift the ring off there and I'll keep doing that until I have used all the mixture and when I try and keep the ring on the pot plate for as short amount of time as possible because as we all know aluminium is a great conductor of heat and will have your fingers burning to the bone in no time at all if you're uncareful. It's right now you'd be looking at those patties thinking they ain't no burgers. We just give it a bit of a scrunch. I like to let them fizzle for a little bit. But it ain't better than the sound of a hot sizzling barbecue. You know you got to put some cheese on your burgers because cheese is good. So we're just going to lay that down on our meat and places. So we've got the buns and um, <laughs> at our plate. We're going to lay that down. Grab ourselves a patty. We're going to chuck it up on there. Let's go double meat. So we're going to just slide that up on there. And always with a burger, burger sauce is always good. So let's just squidgy some of that up on there. Is that enough? And then stick a little bit of mayo on the other side there. That's enough. And we'll grab a tomato. A couple of bits. You forget to add your gherkin. So you just add the gherkin into the burger just like that. And boom. There it is. There's a bit of gherkin. It's all good and well. 
Mmm. That is good. I'm Bill Burr. That meal's got meat, bread, all the salad, goodness and stuff. That is a full high milk.